Good morning, welcome back. We're in the Gospel of Luke chapter five, today verses 21 through 26, as we carry on and see what happens now. What is the reaction? The, the man of faith has been let down through the roof. Jesus has said, your sins are forgiven. Now we get the reaction. And the scribes and the Pharisees began to reason, saying, who is this who speaks blasphemies? Who can forgive sins but God alone? But when Jesus perceived their thoughts, he answered and said to them, why are you reasoning in your hearts? Which is easier, to say your sins are forgiven you, or to say rise up and walk? But that you may know that the Son of Man has power on earth to forgive sins, he said to the man who was paralyzed, I say to you, arise, take up your bed, and go to your house. Immediately he rose up before them, took up what he had been laying on, and departed to his own house, glorifying God. And they were all amazed, and they glorified God, and were filled with fear, saying, we have seen strange things today. So that's the general reaction there. Uh, they're filled with fear, they're glorifying God, and they're saying, oh, this was an unusual day. We've never seen anything like this. We have seen strange things today. So Jesus, interesting here again, it's not just words. Many times we seem like we are just words, but Jesus says, so that you can know that I have power to forgive sins. He tells the man, you know, rise, take up your bed and, and take it with you, go home. And so the man does it. He acts on his faith. And so they acted on his faith to lift him up onto the roof. They acted on his faith to take the roof open. They acted on their faith to let him down in front of Jesus. Jesus recognized this, stated his sins were forgiven. And now Jesus, to show everybody there that it was real, says, yeah, that forgiveness of sins is valid. And guess what? Let me show it to you by a concrete act Rise, take up your bed and go. And he takes up his bed, and now we can go out through the, through the crowd. <laughs> and so Jesus makes an object lesson of his healing. Friend, do you believe that the power of the Lord is, can be present to heal you? Do you believe that he can forgive your sins? Because we need to know both. We need to have our sins forgiven, and we need to have the faith that acts on the initiative of God. God will give us the initiative. We need to then act. So friend, uh, I love what's happened here, and certainly these people gathered from all the cities, and seeing this, they left with something to talk about. Let's pray. Dear Father in heaven, we pray that our lives will be lives of confidence in Jesus, lives of trust in the character of God, lives that say, Lord, I'm reaching out with faith. Please strengthen my faith. So now, Lord, we pray that you will... Uh, Forgive us our sins, that we'll have a spirit that wants to be forgiven, that we, you will transform us and heal us and raise us up spiritually and, if you desire, physically. Now, Lord, we look to you. You are the one and only, and so thank you for sending Jesus. May he be our, our blessed Savior and healer and King. Now, Lord, we thank you for hearing our prayer in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you also today in all that you do.